Today we're going to work with War World Scenic Static Grass just to see how to apply it on your model railroad. We've got various sizes here in uh, 1 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 4 millimeter, 6, and 10. And I really can't wait to see how well the 10 is going to work. I'm looking forward to that. I'm not going to use glue today. Today I'm simply going to use latex paint. I've got some brown from Home Depot's messed up department, which I gotta tell you is a good deal. And we're gonna use that as our glue today. Normally white glue or spray on glue would work just fine for this. But in this case paint, this brown paint, will be our ground texture for the grass. And I'm probably gonna start out with the uh, two millimeter grass. Because I like the shade of the spring grass. Drop some of that in the gun here. Drop on my lid. I've got a nail on my clip. My gun is turned on. And the paint wetness will conduct the static electricity. I know you're supposed to hold this thing straight down, but if I do that, I'm going to get way too much grass, so I'm holding on its end right now. It's still standing up really nicely. I'm going to hold it straight up just like this. I get a lot more application of material, almost too much material this way. I, I think I'd rather hold it this way. I'm still getting a great static charge and my grass is standing up magnificently, so I really don't see a reason not to do it this way if I want a finer amount of grass, which I really do in this case. Now this is a two millimeter, let's switch it over to the four. I'm gonna use this pasture darker grass. This is a static four millimeter grass. really heavy there. I like it where it is actually thinner because that way if I had real dirt down and white glue on this you'd see the grass through the dirt not this really really this almost looks too heavy this almost looks like the way the Europeans do it it's almost too heavy it doesn't look like you see enough earthly texture through it. In fact, I'm gonna grab this that's too much material getting used I would prefer to use the gun at a little bit of a sloped angle Still get my standing up. Wait a minute, the gun's not even on. I'm not getting anything. Hold on. Here we go. All right, my grass is standing up. There it is. And it's finer. I'm going to hold it straight again. Coming in real heavy. As if you want pasture grass, really heavy. But I don't particularly, A, want to use that much, and B, I want my dirt to show through a little bit. And a lot of times you don't do a full field like this. You're just going to put the grass on cracks. A little bit later in this tape, what we'll do is we'll demonstrate actual real live application of this grass on a layout type of a setting. But this is really good looking four millimeter grass right now. And it's sticking the paint. It's standing straight up. And I really like the way that it's coming out. Now I'm going to switch it over to our six millimeter grass. This will go real quick. I'm going to slap a little bit more paint down, acting again as our glue. I'm going to move our nail over here, ground it, machine's on. I'm holding it at an angle again, the material standing straight up, you can see it is. That's just how we want our grass to look if you're doing a small area. I'm going to hold the grass gun straight up like this. Now you can see it also standing straight up and coming out much heavier. Okay. Again, if you want your dirt to show through, hold your gun at an angle. If you ever use the funnel that fits on the end of this, you're going to want to hold that at an angle too, so that it doesn't dump straight out onto your work. This is good the way this is working now. The last thing I really want to try is the longest material. The longest material is 10 millimeter. I don't know for a fact that it'll stand up, but let's try it. I really, if it does, it'll be great. It's useful, useful material. Ten millimeter summer mix, really nice color. Almost looks like 
large rolls of hay, like you'd see hay rolled up in a field. It's the wrong color for that. Their other color here is in fact named hay field 10 millimeter, which would be perfect to roll up and make those hay, hail bays that you see ready to be sold. Now the gun's charged, everything's turned on. I've got the long stuff in here. And I'm gonna hold the gun straight up just to ensure I get a good stand up. And look at that, it is standing up. Joe Fugate, you are correct. If you hold the gun the way the instructions tell you, the 10 millimeter stuff will stand up. It is standing up. When you hold the gun like this, it doesn't stand up. So that's where I was having my problem with this. Joe helped me out, corrected me, and said, Ken, follow the instructions, which I'm now doing. And magically, this, this long grass is standing up. So actually, this is usable if you wanted to make a good long hay field. Put some dirt down below. This is perfect vegetation for that. So we've got the 4 millimeter, the 6 millimeter, the 10 millimeter, and the 2 millimeter all on paint. And then the next thing I want to do is how to show you how to use this stuff, real world application for a train layout. War World Scenics. I've got the 4 millimeter grass here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spray bottle. And I'm going to put just a couple. I'm going to spray this little area right here around the water. Just make it a little bit damp. The whole area can be damp, but this is not glue. This is just water on a finished section of layout. Then I'm going to take a few dots of Tomer's glue. You see where I'm going with this? We're going to make our own little tufts of grass. I'm going to put a couple dots of Elmer's glue on the wet area. Just a couple little blocks of Elmer's glue here. putting down four millimeter grass and sticking in the white glue and standing up straight. And then after this dries, I'm going to vacuum up the excess around it. And we'll be left with just those little areas right here. Oh, that are standing up just perfect. Actually, the whole area is standing up, but again, this isn't glued. Just the specks of white glue are glued, so we'll have individual tufts. glue is holding. Those are going to dry standing up right where you want them to be. War World Scenic sent us seven different colors to work with and three or four different size naps. This being the longest one is our 10 millimeter lap nap in two colors. The other colors that we have are um, a, a dead type of static grass, a spring, a bright color spring mix, which I really like these uh, links. We're gonna use this one in a few minutes to make a pine tree. Um, here we've got a four millimeter pasture static grass. I've got an autumn type color. Here's a really nice summer uh, grass mix. And then we've got two fall mixes. One of them's called uh, patchy uh, grass and the other one's a winter grass type color. All very nice colors. A little bit lighter dead grass in there too. So I mix them the two together. I think we're gonna get a really, I think this is gonna work out really good having these two colors mixed together. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm putting down a little bit of glue that'll represent where the grass would be growing out of the cracks of the concrete and the cement. And that's just a couple little dribbles of glue here. And it'll, there'll be a, this is gonna look really good when this is done. Up. I'm sure this is standing up. I'm going to lay this thing out right here on top of the water. 
It is standing up. I've got standing up grass. And I'm gonna just cover this whole area where the glue is. that dry for a few minutes. Now I'm not putting this clip in the ground, I'm just, a, I was just attaching it, letting it make contact with a flat surface, which worked. That standing up, when that dries, I'll come back and vacuum it, and we'll be left with simply the cracked grass standing up left over. Okay, after vacuuming up the yellow, I then went ahead and put down some green, just to add a little different color into the cracks. So I'm gonna vacuum up this, and you'll see what you're left with. And after vacuuming, what I'm left with are the little cracks with the grass growing right out of them on the pavement. Just the way you might want to have on your layout. Another thing that static grass is really, really good at is making pine needles for pine trees. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that here right now. I'm going to take, I've got a pine tree that's made simply out of a dowel rod, the way we've always made pine trees. Nothing new there, old school. I've got hog's hair put on it in a couple of different layers. Nothing new there. The hog's hair is automatically that green color. I'm just going to put some hairspray on it right now and then apply the flocking. I'm going to put on four millimeter long pine needles. I know that's a little long, but it's the right color. I'm attaching my ground clip to the bottom nail of the tree, and just to make sure I have good contact, make sure that's wet. Glue gun's on. Now I'm putting the pine needles onto the tree, and what they're going to do is they're going to go onto it and stand straight out towards the gun. This gives you a very cool effect very believable effect. That's pretty much all you do and I've done that to a great deal of these trees here where you can see I've got individual pine needles on them. That's the way I suggest you do that. 